Good afternoon, everybody. What is going on? I am Jeff Grant Media, and today's real user review, we are taking a look at the Telesin Stock Coverall Jacket. I bought this jacket with my own money. I actually bought it used off of eBay for about $60 because there's a, a fairly substantial grease stain on the front of the jacket, which is actually kind of hard to see. Uh, in natural light, you can't really see it at all. So I got it for about $60 shipped. So I have no affiliation with Telesin in any way, shape, or form. If they want to see this video, they will see it when you do. So this was the first chore coat I've gotten, and I've been uh, I've been eyeballing this for a while because I love the overall aesthetic and look of the Telesin coverall jacket. I've basically been wearing nothing but chore coats for the past month, month and a half. I've worn both the Telesin and another brand. I've been jumping between them every couple days. Now, both of them do have some overlap to them where they're both good for a certain reason, which I will get into, but the Telesin is definitely better for work. This is a denim work style jacket, and I have been doing some actual work in this jacket. I'll talk a little bit more about that, but first let's start with a few specs of the jacket. Brand new, the Telesin stock coverall jacket comes in at $159 USD. This is made in San Francisco from 14 ounce non selvage sanfordized cone mills denim. All of the Telesin coverall jackets feature a pretty unique newspaper pocket that also has an extra rivet to reinforce it. And this newspaper pocket is the main reason I really wanted to try a Telesin chore coat because I've not seen any other chore coats with the newspaper pocket and I just like the way it looks aesthetically. It just looks awesome. As I said, my jacket does have a grease stain on the front right side of it, which is why I got it for about $60 shipped to me. Now fit, feel, finish. I am five foot nine, roughly 175 to 180 pounds, and I am wearing a size large in the Telesin coverall jacket. Now, the name of this is the Te Telson coverall jacket, but this is in fact not a jacket. This is a coat. The difference between a coat and a jacket, a jacket generally comes to your waist, a coat comes below your waist. So stand up, let your jacket or coat fall. If it's at your waist or thereabouts, it is a jacket. If it goes below your waist, below belt line, maybe to the tops of your pockets of your jeans, then you are in fact wearing a coat. But I digress. This is the Telesin stock coverall jacket. This is the non selvage version. Um, but I, I like it. I generally, if I were to buy this brand new, I probably would have went with the, I think they're 250 or so for the selvage version, but I got such a good deal. And it's Cone Mills Denim, which I like Cone Mills Denim. So I, I jumped on it. I got it for a good price. Now it does have a fairly boxy cut to it. That's by design. These are modeled after the French chore coats that came about in the late 19th century. But in France, they were just called a work coat. It was just a blue collar working class coat that was very utilitarian. They varied slightly depending upon what the occupation was. And a lot of those original chore coats had this newspaper pocket because then print was not a dead medium. So people would read their newspaper for the day and then stick it in their newspaper pocket. That's why a lot of the modern chore coats don't have this pocket because print it's a dead medium, so you don't need it. No one's carrying around a newspaper anymore, but Telesin is like the only company that makes it, and I love the way it looks. So we changed it to shore coat, barn coat, utility coat, once we got it in America. So it's original was just like a work coat, work jacket in France, the 19th or late 19th century, and that's where the roots of this jacket come from. This is a very, very work user-friendly jacket. So I've been down here working in the basement, uh, this past weekend, I was outside doing a lot of work. We did some tree trimming. I had to fix a fence. Some fence posts were rotten. Some deck boards were rotten. So we had to go buy lumber, uh, buy concrete. So I was mixing concrete. I was pulling up rotten wood, digging uh, concrete out of the ground, cutting trees and, and chopping up trees with a chainsaw. And I wore this jacket most of the time. It did get a lot, <laughs> we got poured on. One of the reasons I didn't film it was because we were fighting with the rain. We were trying to get done. It was supposed to be beautiful and we saw the storm clouds rolling in. So I, we just got to work and try to get as much done as we could. Then we got poured on, then we got back to work. It did get a little humid later on when all that water was evaporating. So I didn't lose the jacket, but I was outside working in this, basically wore this to work in all day long. I also wore this filming at an abandoned location, running around in the mud for about three or four hours. This was my jacket of choice. I did have a camera bag on my back running around with boots on, trying to not break my neck, 
chasing a guy that has absolutely no fear. So I'm running with a camera on a gimbal and a camera back through inches of mud with puddles that were several feet deep at places, trying to keep up and uh, not die. And it, the jacket worked out great. I was comfortable running around. I was able to stick everything that I needed quickly, extra batteries for the gimbal, extra batteries for the camera. Um, I actually had some extra batteries for my photographer's camera as well. We, we both use uh, the same Sony camera, so we have the same batteries. So I've had a bunch of Sony batteries in my pockets running around and it worked really, really well. I've worn this casually out and about. And one of the things that I found that chore coats work really, really well for that I did not even think of, not intend to use it for, chore coats are the ultimate dad coat. With all of these pockets, when you're out and about with the family, especially if you have little ones, if you don't have a bag to put all that stuff in, you, as the daddy, you are the pack mule, and they will load your pockets up with everything and anything that they do not want to carry or put in their own pockets. So chore coats are the ultimate dad coats. I will say the other chore coat I was testing worked a little bit better as the dad coat because it had a few extra pockets. The, uh, the newspaper pocket, while it aesthetically it looks pretty badass. It isn't as useful having an extra maybe chest dump pocket that does come in a little bit more useful. So the other chore coat did work a little bit better as a dad coat than the Telesin, but the Telesin worked out way better as a work coat than the other one. So they're both overlapped, both worked really, really well as dad coats, but the Telesin works way better than the other chore coat as an actual work coat to work in, to do any actual work in. The layout, the pockets of this were great. You have your pencil pocket. I was throwing all the screws in my left dump pocket. So this jacket worked out really, really well as an actual work coat. Now I did wear this casually a lot more than I thought I would, especially after initially seeing that grease stain. I thought, oh, I'm not gonna be able to wear this out and about. It's got a big grease stain on it. But I actually ended up wearing this to work a bunch. Wore it in the studio, doing studio work. Wore this out and about with the family. That's how I found out that it actually works out really, really well as a dad jacket because I just said, screw it. I went to a kid's birthday party and I threw this jacket on and it worked out really well because we were at a, an arcade and we we're winning all these tiny prizes and those tiny prizes had to go somewhere. So they went all into my pockets. And that's how I found that chore coats are the ultimate dad coat. But overall, the fit, feel, and finish of this is great. I have a full range of motion, working, swinging a hammer, using a chainsaw, uh, using a drill, using a shovel to dig up posts. I had a four, five foot pry bar I was prying. We had shovels and pry bars to get the concrete out of the ground for the fence posts that we were moving. Worked great, I had a full range of motion. I was comfortable enough to work in it. The dump pockets worked really well for my pencil, my measuring tape, all the screws that I was pulling out of the fence and pulling out of the deck throwing them in my pocket so I could then put them back in when I put the new boards down. Worked out really, really well. Uh, what else? I was using, using circular saws and table saws and miter saws. Basically every saw that I own while wearing the Telesin stock coverall jacket. And it worked great. So I would say this Telesin, great work coat, held up really, really well for me. This is my go-to work jacket, work coat now. Whenever I'm doing any projects, I'm gonna be throwing this on because it works out great. I can throw everything I need in the pockets and I can go, I can go to town. I don't have to wear an extra carpenter belt or anything. I, uh, I hate, I can't tuck my pencil behind my ear because I wear glasses, so like it'll stay there, but as soon as they start moving around, my pencil always falls out, so I'm usually sticking it in the back of my baseball cap, which then stabs me in the back of the neck. So now I can stick it directly into my pencil pocket and I'm not gonna lose it. Because these little buggers, one of the most important things you need when you're doing some sort of project and they always get lost. So this jacket worked out great for me. Again, I did buy this with my own money. I'm not being paid to say anything positive or negative about it. I do recommend it. It worked out great for me. Uh, I really want to check out some other offerings from Telesin. I wanna check out some of their selvage offerings. I'm gonna look at maybe picking up some pants in the future here, uh, but overall, very satisfied with the Telesin stock coverall jacket, although this is a coat and not a jacket. 
Uh, the only other thing that I think I would probably change would be this pocket right here. There's this little divider. When I stick my hand in the pocket, I have to kind of do the, the Spock, the Vulcan, to kind of get it in there. But I can and probably will just pop that stitching out on my own. But when I'm reviewing things, I like to leave them as they're made. I like to do non-destructive mods. So I see how they actually work as intended. But now that the review's done, I might just pop that stitching out and just have that full pocket. Because I'll still have the pencil hole to keep my pencil in place, but I don't need to have this here where I have to do the Vulcan to get my hand into the pocket. So if you're looking at any of the Telson coverall jackets, I'd say snag one. It's really great, it's very comfortable. It's been working out great for me. I've been out in the rain, I've been in the mud, I've been working in the yard, handling chainsaws, every all the saws I own I've been using, shovels and uh, pry bars and drills and crawling around and it's it's been great. I'm mixing concrete in this thing and uh, yeah, comfortable, gonna keep on wearing it. It's now my brand new work coat. So if you like this video or any of my other videos, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Smash that big red button and ring that bell right next to it so you get notifications the next time I post a brand new video. Good night.